former Belarus has submitted his resignation as head of the State Property Fund of Ukraine. He wrote on his Facebook page that, Today I submit a resignation from the post of head of the State Property Fund of Ukraine. I spent three years of my life working for the public service, almost two of them in the fund. Mr. Belous continued to comment that his team at the State Property Fund had successfully implemented international privatization standards and that he was proud to have made the privatization process easier in Ukraine. The State Property Fund of Ukraine has been viewed with skepticism and contempt by the Ukrainian public and outside monitors because of allegations of widespread corruption and insider dealing. In late February, Eric Hans, the Eurasia program manager for the Center of International Private Enterprise, discussed the reasons why the state property fund is not trusted. So the Ukraine State Property Fund manages uh, the bulk of, of, of Ukrainian state property, right? Um, they're viewed with skepticism for, for some, uh, for some you know, factors, uh, news stories that have broken over the past year, two years, ten years. Uh, where insiders inside the, inside the state property fund oftentimes time, end up with really good deals, shall we call them. Um, and, you know, these, these, these type of minor scandals are, are ongoing. Uh, you know, so the, the entity that's in control of these state-owned enterprises or the, that has access to these state assets is viewed with skepticism by the Ukrainian public. Now, if there were to be a rapid privatization of these 1,500 or so smaller state-owned enterprises, controlled solely by the state property fund, you know, I fear that there would be a populist backlash in Ukraine against these privatizations. Mm -hmm. And in any subsequent Ukrainian government, all of these privatizations would be, would be subject to review. So you have this ongoing privatization, reprivatization, uh, uh, um, you know, cycle that, that's just going to go on and, and again, uh, weaken the, the rule of law in Ukraine.